Parliament has ratified the Ghana-U.S. agreement on defense cooperation. Meanwhile, the minority walked out of the House during the debate on the agreement. The Defense Cooperation Agreement will come into force once Ghana and the U.S. exchange notes to indicate their compliance with each country's internal procedure. The agreement will give the U.S. access to agreed military facilities and other areas in Ghana. It will also allow the American personnel to use their own telecommunication system as well as drivers and other professional licenses from the U.S. Under the agreement, goods and services purchased by the U.S. team will be tax-exempt. The agreement will also guarantee free movement of U.S. vehicles, vessels and aircraft in Ghana. The Defense Cooperation Agreement shall remain in force unless terminated by one-year advance written notice from either party through diplomatic channels. The disagreement between both sides of the House began immediately, the Speaker asked the Chairman of the Defence and Interior Committee, Mr. Seth Echampun, to move the motion. The Minority Leader, Mr. Haruna Idrisu, asked permission for the ranking member of the committee, Mr. James Agaga, to make corrections to the report. The majority side disagreed, and this is what happened. It went on for several minutes until the speaker called for a five-minute break to hold private discussions with leadership of both sides. Around this time, some NDC loyalists in the public gallery started showing printouts bearing the inscription, Ghana First. The security team tried to stop them, but the drama continued. This was what the speaker said to visitors in the gallery when certain resumed. By all appropriate parliamentary procedures all over the civilized world and as well established, any person who comes to parliament as a guest of this honorable house in the gallery must act in such a manner as to make him or her a good and acceptable guest. When the motion was finally moved, the minority ranking member made amendments to the report to indicate that they, the minority side, did not approve of the agreements. By majority decision be effected after the committee. The committee by majority decision, yes. Mr. Speaker, and it reads, so the rendition would be that the committee by majority decision therefore recommends to the House to adapt this report and ratify by resolution. This was when the debate started. The Minister, the Venerable Dr. Victor Beho, signed this agreement with the American government. Now, let me read portions of that agreement. The Ghana government accepted that American soldiers wear uniforms and sidearms on duty as authorized in Ghana. No change of wedding as we are saying now. The government of Ghana at that time accorded duty-free importation and exportation and exemption from internal taxation on products property, material, and internal taxation. As it was then, it should be acceptable now. Even, even get more to, you are allowed, you are allowed, you are allowed, on law, you are allowed, and said, and that's my final point, you said risk, you said terrorism, by approving this, you are opening the floodgates to open this country to major risks of terrorism and its potential attacks and consequences. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, therefore, Mr. Speaker, therefore, since this treaty has not been executed by President Nana Dudankwa, 
the President of the Republic, we, the Ghana First NDC minority, we are unable to continue with this process. Take your majority decision, support the American government, do it cowardly as you are doing. Just after this, the minority walked out. The discussion continued nonetheless. So Ghana first actually implies security. In the past, governments, various governments of Ghana have had relationship with the United States. And through those, the cooperation they had ensured our security. The need is even greater now, as we have terrorism at our borders. That's a need for enhanced cooperation. The agreement is access to our facilities and areas. It's not a takeover of Ghana. And there is no base or camp involved in this matter. The parties anticipate that United States forces and United States contractors may not physically be present at the agreed facilities and areas at all times. During those times that the United States forces, United States contractors, or Ghanaian authorities are not physically present at the agreed facilities and areas, such facilities and areas shall remain locked and secured. And the security for such facilities and areas shall be provided by Ghana. A base, and then the place will be empty. Have you seen that before? At the end of the debate, the Speaker approved the report on the agreement. Meanwhile, the House has begun a six-week recess for the Easter.